during the few hours before a performance, I would usually brush up on my practice and just run through a few things, um, maybe fix some small errors here and there, and take breaks. Uh, because um, practicing all the way doesn't help any bit. Um, I think taking breaks is also quite beneficial. And before, directly before a performance, I just think about the piece and um, what I'm gonna give to the audience. begin by do, um, practicing the piece hands separately before putting them together after working out the spots which I find difficult and voicing out notes and things like that. So eventually the piece will start off at a very slow pace but by the end of about three weeks or so it should reach its final performance tempo and eventually be ready for performance itself. I think it's more of hard work and personal judgement that uh, plays a bigger role in creating great music that most people would want to hear. For example, in the interpretation of a piece, it all boils down to personal judgement and what do you think is right and what do you think would sound good to you and to the audience and to make sure that they get what you want them to get in turn for listening to the piece and also to give what you want to give as well as what the composer wants the intense of composers as well As performers, we are um, we are also here to entertain, and that is part of what we do. We um, we strive to give what we have to give to the audiences, and um, uh, make them feel appreciative of the music as a whole, and also to um, um, be a medium where we express the composer's intents to the audiences. Uh, I think it's more the um, feeling of um, general appreciation from the crowd, perhaps, and um, lots of expectations just heaped onto you as to what are you going to uh, present to the audience during performance. a feeling of um, confusion and perhaps um, satisfaction that you have given what you want to give to the audiences and that they might appreciate what you have just played. Mm -hmm.